my happy people welcome back to nail therapy thursdays um today i'm actually going to be bringing you all a set that i am going to be doing um i actually just finished this set it is a white dip powder with some diamonds attached and yeah absolutely loving this look and i want to show you all how i achieved it um on this hand it is uh filed buffed um, dehydrated and ready to go so I'm going to go ahead and just hop right on into to this tutorial of how I've achieved this beautiful look so if you want to see this definitely stay tuned okay alright so first what you'll need is dip powder I'm actually using beetles I have the beetles clear dip powder and then I also have uh, the color white um, I have the beetles gel top coat and base coat I do, whenever I do my dips, I do exclusively use gel. You also need cuticle pusher, manicure brush, as well as um, some cupcake liners to make, life, make your life easier. And then these awesome cool little diamonds here. That's what I'll be using to apply on top. So first thing I'm going to do is um, do a thin layer of clear dip over all of my nails um, actually I'm only gonna do it on three nails I don't know if you all know this or not um, but this is actually a nail enhancement that I did um, one two of my nails broke actually so my pinky and my ring finger so essentially it already has builder gel on top of it and I don't want my nails to be too thick um, I did uh, an enhancement on this nail right here and I don't know if you could tell but it's like super thick in comparison to like the other nails and so I don't want that to happen again so I'm just going to apply a clear dip to these three nails and then I'm going to go ahead and do my regular um, dip powder process so you'll start with just the base coat apply a thin layer a thin layer of base coat and then I'm just going to sprinkle the clear right on top of that you can also do the base coat first and then cure it so that everything that goes on top has something to adhere to. But again, I'm trying to keep my nails as thin as possible since I did some enhancements. And I also want to see if this technique is going to work too. So, Because the last that I did, I did the base first and then I started doing my uh, manicure on top of it. And it honestly, it lasted uh, almost three weeks and it could have actually lasted longer. I didn't have any lifting or anything like that. but. Um, I was just ready to change my manicure out so that's what that looks like I'm just going to take my cuticle stick and clean around the cuticle line like so all right now I'm going to go ahead and flash cure this for 10 seconds so I'm going to do the next nail here Again, you want to get really close to the cuticle without touching it. Like so. And this is really just to protect my nail. And I'm I'm planning on filing this set off, so I also want to see if me applying this clear uh dip layer here will help me uh protect my nails when I file it off because I've never actually used an e-file to file off before, so I'm a little nervous about that. Tap off the excess, and I'm going to actually go ahead and full, fully clear these for 60 seconds. That's been cured for 60 seconds. Next, go in with the manicure brush, and that's just going to dust off any of the excess powder that you have on the nail. Um, the nail is hardened, so you really don't have to worry about, you know, um, it smearing anywhere. So now I'm going to go ahead and start with my index finger, and go ahead and dip all of the nails. I'm going to flash cure in between each nail for about 10 seconds just to make sure I don't like mess up what, what I've already poured over. So I'm going to pour the white over now. It's my first layer of white. A 
let it set for a little bit, maybe like five seconds or so. And then I'll tap it off. And if I see any spots that look like it needs a little bit more, I'll go ahead and pour over a little bit. That looks nice and even. Go ahead and flash cure for 10 seconds. this is the last nail I'm actually going to cure all of them now for 60 seconds like so Looks like I just need to clean up around the cuticle right here like so so I'm going to flash cure that for the full 60 seconds this is what the first coat looks like right so then I'll go in with my manicure brush and just dust off the excess powder. And what I like about the gel method is that really you can be kind of as rough as you want, especially in the cuticle line area, because that's the part that I really like to be able to see clearly. So this is what it looks like all dusted off. So now I'm going to go in with my second uh, layer of dip powder. First I'll do my base and then do the pour over method. It's really easy. I honestly really prefer doing this method over using gel because I mean over using dip powder, dip liquids I mean, because the dip liquids can be a little tricky to work with and I feel like this is like way more forgiving. You have time to kind of correct mistakes and things like that. So yeah, I highly recommend this method if you all haven't tried it before. Um, it's kind of like my new go-to and it's giving me a newfound way to kind of use my dip powders because I had purchased some um, and didn't quite know how I was going to use them because some of my dip liquids they got all messed up like they got um, some of them were shut closed some of them they just are all goopy now and so yeah and I really didn't want to buy any more um, dip, dip liquids to be honest um, I do use the brand Double Dip and I think that they're um, really good but um, I just feel like I don't want to have to pay for that every time because those are the same ones that kind of shut on me don't get me wrong the quality of them are really good it's just that um, I don't know you just got to be really careful with dip liquids and I feel like with gel is so forgiving like I've made so many mistakes doing my nails at some point and honestly I've always been able to fix it with gel so yeah I really like gel a lot so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this second coat and I'll be back once it's done. This is what the second layer of dip looks like out the lamp. I'm going to go ahead and brush off this excess powder. Look at that. How beautiful. I'm loving the look. Okay. So technically I could stop here but on this hand I actually did three layers of dip so I'm going to go ahead and do one more layer of dip mainly just to add some more strength to the nail um, and to give it a more full coverage look so I'm going to go ahead and do one more coat here here's my base and then I'm going to pour the powder on top so I'll just let you all watch me do that This 
is what the third layer of white dip looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and brush this off. So at this point in the manicure, you can actually decide to uh, go ahead and buff the nails if you want, or you can go ahead and move on with the base. Um, I typically don't shape the nails because I find that one, they are pretty smooth with just pouring over. And then two, um, you know, it needs kind of a rough surface to adhere to anyway. So I'm actually not even going to buff or fall or anything like that. I'm going to go in with one more layer of base coat, but this layer of base coat, I'm actually just going to go ahead and cure. And then after that, I'm going to, um, apply top coat. So I'll be right back and let you watch me do that. Oh, also be careful with your manicures. I did have, um, this hit my skin and actually I am going to go ahead and file. I just want to um, go ahead and get that off my skin so that it doesn't cause lifting later on. So I'm going to go ahead and file that and then I'll apply my base. And what I'm going to do is just kind of get really close to it and file it down. Okay, so try my best to get it off my skin. Yep, I think I did pretty good with that. It's off the skin. It's off the skin on the nail only. Not the prettiest sight on this side, but no one's gonna be looking at the side of your nails that hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on. All right, so the base coat is applied. One thing I do with at this step is I actually do turn my nails over for 10 seconds just so that it can kind of fill in all of those little grainy areas from the dip powder. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure for a full 60 seconds. So I am going to try something different. On this particular hand, um, when I applied these crystals, I actually just applied Builder Gel on top of my top coat. But I actually, but as you can see, it kind of leaves like, you can see where I put the Builder Gel at. And I kind of want to see if I can get it to look a little bit more smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a strip of Builder Gel down the middle of the nail and then go ahead and apply my top coat and then put the gems where I want it to be and then cure it. And that's something that I've seen long hair pretty nails do. And I kind of want to see if it works for what I have. Um, the Builder Gel I'm going to be using is Amili. I feel like this stuff works really, really good. I'm um, not sure if you all have heard of it, but um, it's amazing. Uh, so if you haven't, you should definitely check it out. And then I'm going to just use my Beatles Top It Off Top Coat. So let's go ahead and try that and see if it works. <laughs> it's my first time doing that. That's what you got to love about doing nails, you know. You just, it's all trial and error. Let me go ahead and move this powder out the way. Okay. So with this, you, a little load goes a long way. This is actually what I use for my nail extension too. Now I'm just going to apply just a really small amount down the center of the nail. And that's going to be where I'm planning on putting my crystals at. Okay. And I'm going to do and do that actually on every nail, just right down the center. Like so. All right. Okay. And then now I'm going to go in with my top coat. I'll top it off top coat and I'm gonna get my crystals ready as well crystals right here and I'm gonna adhere them with the with the um, like so I said I haven't tried this before but I want to see which method works better. Like if me just applying it on top work better or if what Evie did is the better hack. So we will see here. It's a little trial and error here, a little experiment. Oh, I also need to cap the free edge. I forgot to do that on this one. So I'm going to do that on this one. And that's just to make sure there's no lifting at the tip of the nail. But honestly, this stuff is like indestructible. Even if you forget to cap the free edge, especially with beetles, um, you'll find that it probably still, it'll probably still hold up because this stuff is like amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of these. Cap one more time. Okay. Do my pinky. Like so. 
cap the free edge. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my crystals. What I'm gonna do is just dab, I'm gonna use my orange stick and I'm gonna dab it on the nail, right? And that's just gonna put just a little bit on the stick and then I'm gonna use that to pick up my crystals. So we have one here. I'm gonna do, I think I did two, no I did three on this one, so I'm gonna do three. And then you just want to place them where you want them to be. So, create three. There we go. That's good. And then I'm going to do two on this hand. One. Two. That looks pretty good. Okay. make sure everything gets self-leveled is kind of turn my hand upside down so that it um, so that the gel self levels so I'm gonna hold my hand like this for 10 seconds and then I'll cure this is what the nails look like after they've cured with the diamonds on it I did go ahead and do my thumbnail off camera uh, just to make life a little bit easier. Um, I am going to just go ahead and try to see if I can clean up around um, the skin of the nails. As you can see, I did get a little bit on my skin here, but it's pretty easy to clean up. You really can just like scrape it off like so. You see how it just kind of comes right off? So yeah, I'm going to just kind of go around each finger and see if I can get it to look a little bit cleaner. My hands are all washed now. And this is what the finished product is looking like. You all, look at this subtle little bling. I'm absolutely loving this design. Um, believe it or not, I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. Originally, I was going to do this design on my nails, which is like orange uh, stars with uh, like hollow, hollow orange stars. Um, but once I started doing the white, I really wasn't feeling it. Then I was like, oh, okay, I can do like this beautiful silver star on it, but I still wasn't feeling it. And so, yeah, I ended up just doing plain white nails um, on this hand first. And then I showed my husband, he was like, you should add some diamonds to it. And he was telling me I should do one here, here. And I was like, let me just do lines of diamonds on here. And I absolutely love how this look turned out, you guys. Like, look how beautiful this is. I'm absolutely loving it. I hope you all are loving it too. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some cuticle oil. Definitely keep your cuticles hydrated because they will definitely thank you for it later. Okay. Go in, hydrate my cuticles really quick. All right, you guys, this is the finished product. I'm loving it, and I hope that you are too. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursdays. So, yeah, let me know um, if there's any designs that you all want me to try out or any other techniques. What do you all think of this set? And uh, what colors are you all currently wearing right now? I'd be curious to know because um, I'm always looking for inspiration for my next set of nails. So yeah, I will see you next Thursday. As always, leave me some love in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!